Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So oh. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I am so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. Finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... Because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. Nathan just needed mental help. Now he's dead, and Jefferson is done. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. I can't seem to escape the two whales. Hey. 
Be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Please be okay, Chloe. for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. To to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. I'm her best friend. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Man, she just won't listen. I... Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts any... Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because... I was there. Will you please? Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, I know this isn't easy, but it's time for you and me to let the past go. We have to focus on our future while we still have one. That's so easy for you to say. You don't know what my life has been these past five years. Come on, of course I... But at some point you have to move forward. One thing I learned at Blackwell is the saying, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I have to do this. So I guess I'm on my own. Again. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to- Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? Because- Will you please tell- 
Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... end your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... <sighs> I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but... I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been there so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. 
I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. <sighs> Chloe. I've got your back. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm back in class. About photography as he what the hell? Films. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to sorrow. listen to this Jefferson lecture again. To shadow. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, torture. Right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. Shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. 
Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That's Rachel. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. I 
think my entries for the contest might be too good. You might as well choose you. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for flavor. This one is for Samuel. Oh, the <laughs> 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 Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me Max. again. You no. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand. Hey, Max. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Max? Max.
Dean Blackwell, this is Principal Well, Miss Coffee. Thank you, Max. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And wait, Max. Max? Yes, Max. You can also manipulate time. Okay. So my rewind power does work here. I can use it if I'm careful. Hello, Max. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention, I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxi Max. Max? Yes, Max, you can also manipulate Black time. Well, okay, this is so my well. rewind power does work here. I can use it if I'm careful. Wait, Max. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. This is Principal Wells. Miss Coffee. This is Principal Wells. Max. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances that I promise to investigate after I get my drink on. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play! Hey, babe, babe, who wants to go, Abe? Go, Abe, go, Abe, babe, babe. Well, in a wheelchair, and think we're going to accommodate her every whip. Hungry. You dig my wheels, Max? <laughs> <laughs>